The Battle of Ikarine, June 30, 1703 was a battle of the War of the Spanish Succession. The French surrounded a Dutch force, which barely avoided destruction. This battle ended hope of a decisive Allied victory in the Spanish Netherlands in 1703. Prelude. After taking Bonn on May 15, Marlborough now wanted to conquer Ostend, Antwerp, or force the French to an open battle. He ordered the Dutch general, Coehorn, to march to Ostend and lay siege to it. Dutch General Van Spare would march southwest of Antwerp, Dutch General Objem would march south from Bergen op Zoom, and Marlborough himself would march on Lyre. The United Provinces, however, were not keen to open the ports of Antwerp and Ostend to English commerce and thus to their competition with the Dutch. Therefore, Coehorn did not besiege Ostend, but plundered the countryside between Ostend and Antwerp. Obdam marched on June 28 from Bergen op Zoom to Antwerp, arriving the next day at Ikerine, 7 km from Antwerp. Villeroy was not misled by Marlborough's diversionary maneuver and sent all his troops from Dias to Antwerp to protect it. After hearing of this Marlborough tried to warn Obdam, ordering a withdrawal to Lillo, but he was too late. The battle. Early in the morning of June 30, French dragoons marched from Merxham and Ikarine in the direction of Capellan to cut off the escape route near Hervinen for the Dutch to return to Breda and Bergen op Zoom. The Marquis of Bedmar and his Spanish troops were positioned near Wilmarsdonk. This ensured that the Dutch forces were surrounded on all sides by a superior force. Soon Dutch reconnaissance discovered the French dragoons and Objem immediately sent his cavalry to Hervinen, but it was too late. The village was packed with French troops. An attempt to conquer neighbouring Meusbroek all also failed. Then the French attacked, and Objem tried to take order in, an attack which was briefly successful before the French retook the village. The fighting went on for the entire day. By 8 o'clock there was no more sign of Objem, and Slangenberg decided to attempt an attack on Ordrin, this time by a surprise bayonet charge led by Freesheim. Freesheim sent his men wading through the water, appearing where the French had not expected them to. This action enabled the remaining Dutch troops to break through and retreat in the darkness towards the Netherlands. Aftermath the battle was a victory for the French, but Boufflers wasn't congratulated at all. He was blamed for letting the chance of a total victory slip through his fingers. Obdam survived and escaped south in the afternoon with 30 horsemen, disguising themselves as Frenchmen. His behaviour was not forgiven by the Dutch military, and his military career was destroyed. Slangenberg, for his part, was acclaimed as a Dutch hero. He was also furious at Marlborough, who had been outmaneuvered by the French and had not come to the aid of the Dutch. The Dutch lost 1,717 killed, 1,003 wounded, and 694 who were prisoners of war or were missing. The French and Spaniards lost 1,750 men. Modern Location A large part of the battlefield, including the villages of Orderin, Wilmarsdonk and Lillo, has disappeared under the port of Antwerp expansion in the 1960s.